Hey, book of friends, welcome to Game Grammar, where the game not only prevents you from exploring where you want to go, but punishes you for doing so. Before we jump in, I'd like to thank our sponsor, italki, for supporting us. Italki is a great language learning community that can get you in touch with native speakers, whether you're looking for friends or for personal teachers. You can make an authentic connection with language partners around the globe and become fluent faster and all at home. One last thing to note, we caught a man key in the second episode of our Japanese Pokedex project side series, so Hitokage has a new ally. Don't be surprised when he shows up. Ah, Reddo! Pokemon League ni iku no ka? Yame toke! Loanwords ahoy! There's Reddo, Red, Pokemon, and Rigu, League. A is an interjection. They added a small katakana tsu to add emphasis, like an exclamation mark. It's not uncommon in text-based games and manga. Iku means to go, and adding no ka makes it an explanatory question, like, are you going there? What for? The ni next to Pokemon Rigu lets us know he's talking about going to the Pokemon League. This niku is super fundamental Japanese. You can use it for just about everything, so long as you're going there. Disneyland niku, Konbini niku, Digital World niku. If you don't know it, Learn it. Remember when Okido combined two words in his pronunciation? Well, Green is doing the same thing here. Like grandfather, like grandson. Yametoke is yamete and oke. Yameru means to stop it. We added an it to the translation because it's a transitive verb, which means that the subject is manipulating an object. Or in Japanese, it means you can use an o with the verb, like watashi wa doa o akeru, I open the door. Most transitive verbs in Japanese have an intransitive equivalent that sounds similar. Here, it's yameru and yamu. Yamu is used in karate when sensei orders you to cease your activity. In English, we usually use the same verb for both functions. I opened the door and the door opened, but in Japanese, they are different. Tom, why are you talking about intransitive and transitive verbs right now? It may not seem important, but it is, and the sooner you take note of them, the better, so I'm gonna hammer them in. Anyway, the phrase yametoku is also said in Rockman Dash when they unnecessarily give you the option to go ahead with what you were about to do anyway, or to stop. Teoku is a grammar form that means to do in advance, so here it would be to stop it before you do it, and conjugating it as yamete oke is a strong order to stop it. Finally, he combines the te and the o to make yametoke. It's used more in the context of you should give up. Ah, Red, are you going to the Pokemon League? You should give up. Ah, Red, do Pokemon League ni iku no ka? Yame toke. Omae do se baji motte ne daro? Omae is the slightly rude version of the pronoun you. Do se means in any case or after all, at best, anyway. And then, motte ne is the way a standard confident anime character is gonna say motte inai. Motsu means to hold or to carry, and moteiru is currently holding, but when you say moteinai, it means not currently holding. Most of the time, this kind of conjugation implies that it has not happened yet. Daro is just a shortened daro. Seems, I guess, or surely. I'm sure you don't have any badges anyway. Omae douse, badge motte ne daro? Mihari no ossan ga toshite kure ne yo. Miharu means to watch or to stand guard, but its stem form, mihari, you just change the u sound to an e sound, means guard, so we know he's talking about a guard. This is a common way to turn verbs into nouns. Ossan is a rude term for middle-aged man. Mihari is modifying ossan because there's a no between the two of them, and so we have a middle-aged man who is a guard. Tosu means to let pass, and tekureru is to do verb as a favor. Like we saw in the previous sentence, kurene is actually kurenai, won't do the favor. It's important to note that in the Japanese language, the subject is often implied because you should know who the speaker is talking about. He was talking about us not having badges in the previous sentence, so it's safe to assume that he's still talking about us. We need badges to go through, though not in the original red and blue. There's a glitch that lets you skip the first guard. <laughs> But they took the glitch out in the remake, so I guess the joke's on me now. Finally, the yo particle adds force to the sentence. That old guard guy won't let you through. 
、見張りのおっさんが通してくれねえよ。それよりさ、お前のポケモン少しは強くなったかよ。それ is that, and by that I mean something that's close to the listener, but away from the speaker. Yori is attached to options that are inferior to other options. If the better option is mentioned, it's followed by Hoga, like when Green chose Squirtle instead of Bulbasaur. Anyway, Sore Yori is just, more importantly than that, the thing I was just talking about. Omae no Pokemon means your Pokemon. This is our standard Pokemon modified by you, indicating possession. But not like with ghosts. Sukoshi means a little. Tsuyoku is the adverb form of the adjective tsuyoi, strong. Naru means to become, and natta is its past tense form. I've said this several times in the past, but I'm not tired of saying it yet. For tsuyoi to modify naru, it needs to be an adverb, hence why it's tsuyoku naru and not tsuyoi naru. Sa is the speaker just trying to catch the listener's attention, like, hey! Ka is a verbal question mark, and yo just adds force. More importantly than that, though, did your Pokemon get a little stronger? Sorry, Yori sa. Omae no Pokemon skoshi wa tsuyoku natta ka yo? Next episode is The Big Battle Red vs. Green. More obviously into the Christmas spirit with our color combinations, which we definitely planned and were in no way coincidental. As always, if you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe or like button, or leave a comment. Look at our flashcards if you want vocab help, and check us out on Facebook or Twitter. If you want to find native language speakers to practice your new skills on, check out our sponsor, italki.com. And if you want to support us directly, consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash gamegrammar. Until next time, abayo! Yoparateru means is getting drunk, and then changing the teru to teita means it was happening at some point in the past. But we'll just say I was drunk instead of I was getting drunk. Because that's what we'd say in English. This is just one of those weird language differences.